Hey guys, welcome to Porter Valley Ranch. Today, we have a video that is some bad news, unfortunately. Um, as you guys know, we have gotten into raising chickens this year. Uh, we raise silkies, we raise showgirls, satin showgirls. We have some layer hens, some Easter eggers, and then we also were getting into Polish toll buns. Uh, we didn't intend to get into Polish toll buns, we didn't even know what they were, but Polish are the ones with the crazy little afros on their head. So we went to Yukon to buy some silkies um, back around Thanksgiving in November and when we got there we saw these crazy chickens running across the yard and I call them frizzled pheasants because um, they're kind of spotty and they just look like a pheasant to me so uh, we checked into them and and the lady said that she had a couple she had a breeding pair uh, that my son Zeke could buy so he bought them um, and, and unfortunately those died uh, just a couple days later we don't really know what happened we don't know what went wrong but they did not make it those were about six months old so they weren't too far away from you know being able to lay and, and raise little ones but um, we got some other ones they were just a couple months old and we've been raising those for the last two months uh, they've been doing fine and a couple days ago we were shooting some footage for a documentary that we're going to be on uh, called the homestead documentary with the little pallet farm out of uh, Europe out of England um, so look for that it's going to be coming out soon we'll put a link to it up here um, you can watch she's doing some amazing work her name's Carrie it's called the homestead documentary so look that up follow our link um, it's really cool showing people all over the United States and the world what they're doing um, kind of what their philosophy on on homesteading and farming is so you know our philosophy here is to raise exotic rare breeds of animals and Polish tollbunts are something that not a lot of people know what they are they're they're very unique looking they're pretty rare um, so we got some of those Unfortunately, whenever we were shooting that documentary, we got a couple different chickens. We got one of our showgirls, we got one of our silkies, and we got one of the Polish tollbunts out. And we started noticing that the, the Polish uh, was having trouble walking. So we would stand up and take a few steps and it would just sit down. We assumed it was being lazy, maybe it was dehydrated or something. So we, we took it, we isolated it. Um, we made sure that it was getting you know, food and water and some extra vitamins, things like that. Um, but over the last couple days, it's really just kind of gone downhill. And it seems like its feet and legs are paralyzed almost. Um, and they just keep getting worse. Um, the chicken has a lot of spastic behavior. It kind of throws its head around. It just seems weird. Um, so with our research, we have decided that it is something called Merrick's disease. If you're not familiar with Merrick's disease, Merrick's disease is a herpes virus um, that can spread in poultry. So it, it spreads through their dander. You know, when they shed, um, it can spread from one chicken to another. And it causes some tumors to happen. And these tumors can settle in different places. It can kind of form like cataracts on their eyes, or it can form a tumor on their sciatic nerve, which creates par paralysis in their wings, feet, and legs. So after doing a lot of research and really watching this chicken a lot, we think that's what it is. We think it's Merrick's disease. Um, unfortunately, there's not a cure for Merrick's disease. Um, there is a vaccine that you can give your chickens. You can actually give the vaccine to an egg um, when they're in an embryo. Um, but, but if you're not vaccinated, then there's really nothing you can do. And just watching this chicken with its legs not working, and its wings not working and it kind of throwing its head around um it's it's not fun to watch so we think at this point the best thing is probably going to be just to go ahead and put it down because if it's painful for me to watch then we know it's painful for the chicken as well um so here's the chicken over here so as you can see it's a very uh, unique looking chicken they have that cool hair they have really cool coloring but it just can't just can't use its legs like whenever it tries to walk it's kind of walking on its elbows over here i don't know if those are called elbows but it's just in its wings just aren't working properly and it's just not it's just not a good situation it's not 
it's not fun to watch. Um, I don't believe that it's right to leave an animal, you know, in that kind of state, in that kind of pain. So we're gonna go ahead and put it down. There's nothing we can do. Um, the only thing we can do at this point is make sure that we watch our other chickens. Luckily, this one was very isolated uh, to begin with. It was in its own little cage. Um, so we're not too concerned about it spreading to the rest of our flock. But if you start noticing the signs of this Merrick's disease, then you should be concerned because it can spread pretty easily within your flock. It's a typical virus kind of situation obviously we're pretty familiar with the way viruses work this year and it, everything that comes in contact with it doesn't necessarily get the virus but 20 to 30 percent of your flock that's exposed to it can show symptoms and once they start showing symptoms there's really nothing you can do and they're probably just gonna die so uh, if you start seeing your chickens have paralyzed feet, legs, wings, spastic behavior, or cataract kind of things on their eyes, then you really need to do some research on Merrick's disease because it is a nasty disease that can really wreak havoc on your flock. Um, we're, we're sad about this one because we were really looking forward to raising some of these Tolbunt Polish. They are really cool looking, very unique. Um, we haven't seen very many of them around at chicken shows or anything like that. Um, so this one isn't going to make it. And unfortunately, this would be three out of four Polish Tolbunts of ours that have already died. Um, the odds are just not in our favor. So we, we kind of take that as maybe a sign from God that we shouldn't be raising these things. I don't think we're going to try again. They seem to be a little more fragile than the other chickens that we have. So unfortunately, this is probably going to be the end of the road for our Polish Tolbunt journey. Um, it's definitely the end of the road for this little guy because I just can't stand here and watch it suffer. Um, it's just not fun to watch. So we're going to put him out of his misery. Um, that's just that's all we can do so you guys know here at porter valley ranch we try to show you guys um, our journey and part of our journey is learning part of our journey is exciting and part of our journey is sometimes animals um it's just out of your control there's nothing you can do about it um so this one is not gonna make it we're gonna have to put it down zeke's pretty bummed because he bought it with his own money um but you know it's just part of life it's part of farming that things happen so we're definitely gonna watch the rest of our flock, make sure that they're not showing any signs or symptoms. Um, and we will look into vaccinating in the future. We don't know exactly what that entails cost-wise or, or the, the strategy to do it. But once you've seen one with this, um, you're pretty nervous that it's gonna happen to others because it's, it's just not fun to watch. So watch for paralysis in your feet and legs, wings of your chickens, and look into vaccinating. Merrick's disease uh, is real and it's pretty ugly. So. That's all we've got today. Just wanted to share that with you guys, kind of tell where we're at. Um, if you think you have Merrick's disease in your chicken flock, then do some research, do some homework, reach out to a local extension agent or someone in your area who knows what to do, how to vaccinate, all those things. Because uh, we certainly don't, but we're gonna look into it here in the future. So that's all we've got. You guys have a great day. Hope your day is better than ours. And we'll see you guys next time here at Porter Valley Ranch.